surprise. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is gonna be a get it all done. We got some organizing, lots and lots of cleaning today. Um, also in a little family exciting situation happening and I hate to do that to you guys. I hate when people say I have an exciting thing happening but then don't share what it is until like later on in the video. But trust me, it's worth it. Um, <laughs> and uh, we are really excited about it. But anyway, all that's going on. Um, but in order to do that, we, I need to get caught up with Easter weekend being here. Plus I had a yard sale this past weekend that was a complete fail. So everything that I had in the yard sale was like piled up everywhere outside. Um, I put some of it in my truck already for donation. And then my husband emptied out the, the metal shed. We got our washer and dryer on our back porch right now. <laughs> really just like roughing it at the moment but it's fine we'll we'll get everything sorted eventually it's gonna be a little chaotic for a couple months um and i knew that going into this huge renovation that we are doing if you didn't know we are installing a big shed in our backyard it's gonna be like a addition eventually right now we're in the process of just trying to find homes for all the things that we have and donate it get rid of it all this stuff so yeah um since we've been working on that, the inside of the house has been neglected. I have a mound of laundry on my bed that needs to be folded and put away. Floors need to be cleaned, kids' rooms need to be cleaned. The list goes on, as always. So, I'm gonna tackle it today with you guys. We're gonna get it all done. Um, hopefully this video is very motivating and entertaining to watch, and I appreciate you guys being here as always, but let's get into the vlog. All right, y'all, so here is the current setup. Um, so yeah, I did a little rearranging again. What's new? <laughs> um, I love moving my furniture around and I'm really happy that I tried to put the couch here. And who knows, next time I, I switch it up, we might try something different, but it's always fun to switch it up, especially if you've been in the same house for a while. It just makes your space feel fresh and new again. Um, and I really like this setup, especially now that the couch is much smaller than our other one. It's like, it's not really smaller. I mean, there's still the same amount of seating space. It's just not as bulky because the other couch had so much arm and so much extra backing. This one's just a little bit more streamlined so it just fits our space better. And you can see we have so much more like walk room now around the coffee table, which is cool. And um, the dogs have been loving this little obstacle course. They're like running and jumping on the couch and then running. <laughs> so it's been really enjoyable. They're loving it, I'm loving it. Um, so I'm happy I kind of did a little switcheroo again. Now jumping into my bedroom, I'm gonna work on some laundry. Um, I had quite a bit to tackle today, so what I'm gonna do is like sort through everything. On days like this where I get a little behind, typically I'll just grab extra baskets and I'll separate the kids' clothes from my husband and my clothes, and then they put their own clothes away. It doesn't always work like that. Some days I'll fold all of them, some days we all sit down and fold laundry together truly every single like laundry day looks different um but i have been trying to do like the one load a day especially now since we um officially officially oh my gosh <laughs> let's see if i can get through this voiceover without messing up my words we officially took the washer and dryer out of the laundry room shed that we're tearing down so it, the laundry room is now on our back porch temporarily. We had it all set up so that way we could still wash laundry and not go without a washer and dryer. We considered putting it in the carport, but it was way too far away to run the lines and stuff. So we decided to just do it right here on the back porch instead. So that's where my laundry room is at the moment. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to stay caught up. So obviously we don't have laundry all over our back porch. It's gonna be a, a little chaotic for a little bit, but we'll get through it.
I'm just quickly wiping off my countertop real cleaning it off and then I'm gonna wipe it down I've been trying to stay on top of cleaning my bathroom our countertops not very big in here And then of course I got to have this massive plant So <laughs> I got to stay on top of keeping this space clean or it gets crowded real quick But in just a moment I'm gonna go ahead and include the sponsored ad and I really appreciate your support with these sponsorships Hey y'all today. I am partnered with wild to share with you high-performing natural body care products without the waste wild has a variety of of deodorants, body wash, and they even have lip balm as well. So there is no single-use plastic with Wild products. They come in reusable cases with compostable refills. Wild is powered by plants, so there are no aluminum salts, parabens, or sulfates, and it's certified vegan and cruelty-free, which I think is awesome, so you get 24 hours worth of protection without the harsh chemicals. But I can honestly say that this is the first aluminum-free deodorant that I have been able to use that actually works really well for me and actually keeps me smelling good all day. The scents are great. Um, I can't remember the name of this particular one that I have in here. I already threw away the little case, but... I will have it here on the screen. It smells so good and throughout the day I get like a whiff of it. Oh, it smells so nice. Um, and I really love the little refillable cases here right here on the sides. There's like little buttons and you just push those in and you can put your refill right here in the top and just switch out the scents, whichever one you want. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. I really like this. So this is the one I've been using and then I have a couple other ones here. We got linen and lilac and rose petals. Rose petal smells very like floral, very fresh. And of course, we all know linen and lilac always smells good for everybody. But definitely smells nice. And they also sent me a little, oops, I'm dropping stuff. Um, deodorant sticks is keeping the purse, which is really, really cool. I love this. And I actually, out of all the scents, I would say this is probably my favorite. Um, I've already used this one as well. This is the fresh cotton and sea salt. Highly, highly recommend it smells like you just took a shower but like better <laughs> it smells so good um so definitely recommend and i really really like that you just refill these and you're not just sitting here throwing away and wasting so much product i absolutely love that wild does offer flexible subscription services making it easy to receive your refills and switch out for new scents whenever you'd like and if you want to check out wild i will have the link down below in the description box you can learn more about them and their mission and also i do have a discount code it's carry 20 for 20 percent off that discount will not last long so don't forget to check them out i definitely recommend and i really appreciate wild for partnering with me in today's video all right, so jumping back into the video, I'm in the dining room right now. I'm going to switch out these two cabinets. I really wanted to try this credenza that I did a makeover on recently, and I did share it here on my channel, and so many of you guys were like, keep it, do not sell it. Um, but I originally was trying to give it to my sister-in-law for her space, but she ended up not taking it because she didn't have a, quite enough room in her dining room. So I never sold it, and I was like, you know what, let me just give it a chance in here. So I'm gonna put that in place, and then I will go ahead and say, this does not match my dining room table very well. I definitely want to try the other dining room table again. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I recently did a full makeover on a free table I got, and it turned out gorgeous. It is The chairs are on wheels, which is a little bit of a concern having children, obviously, but I felt like with the new couch, it, there was just too much going on, and it almost looked too... I don't like too fancy for me. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just in my mind. And I had a few of you comment that too. So I just, it kind of fueled that, that thought that I had. Um, but now that I got the new buffet cabinet in here or credenza, whatever you want to call it, I may try the dining room table again and just see how it looks. Uh, let me know what y'all think. By the way, I never ended up selling the table. Um, so I did list it for sale because I thought for sure I was, I didn't want it. And then I had so many people Inter I'm, I'm talking hundreds of people were interested in buying this table, but I never got a solid buyer. They were all like playing games with me and I'm just, I don't have the patience for that, especially with like marketplace. So I eventually just deleted the post because I, I literally couldn't take it no more. <laughs> there were so many people that were either lowballing me or just would never show up, which drove me crazy.
After getting the cooler unloaded, there was a couple bottles of water that had like a little bit of water in them. So I used those to water the plants around the house. And then we're gonna jump back into the kitchen and clean off the kitchen island. And then I'm going to actually vacuum the floors. You will see the RoboVac vacuuming, but I was like kind of in a hurry. I didn't wanna wait for it to get all the dirt and dog hair up. So while it's doing its job, I also went ahead and decided to vacuum so that way I could mop. I was gonna whip out the O-Cedar mop and do like the whole thing, but I ran out of time. So today I just had to settle for the Swiffer. I also decided to try the dog kennel in our bedroom in the corner over here where I have this little um, secretary desk and my chair. Now, right now it's full of home decor in the corner because I literally just went thrift store shopping by the time I was filming this video, so I still hadn't put this stuff up where I wanted it to go. So I just moved that. We're going to try the kennel here in the bedroom again. We used to have the kennel in the room, but... We actually took it out because I had my treadmill in there and there was just way too much stuff going on in the bedroom at the time. And so we decided to try it in the dining room, which is where the kennel stayed for a long time. And then we eventually moved it to the kitchen, which we actually like it in the kitchen. It works well, but I wanted to, you know, clean the floors really good and just kind of freshen up the space. So for now, I just put it in our room. And then um, I am gonna go ahead and take these white cherry blossom stems that I got from Walmart recently. And I'm gonna put those in this vase right here on the kitchen island. in California The sun is always shining right People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get any sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm at night, no I bet you're cold You're so damn cold It never rains in California Sun, it's always shining bright. But if the sky would open up, you're staying home, you don't get out. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed you. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without I bet that you can get any sleep in the bed lying away Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold, you're so damn cold I bet you're cold, you're so damn cold No 
nothing's growing where your heart is fire but baby i bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without me i bet that you can get in the sleep in the bed lying Now that the house is all tidied up and clean, I decided to move outside and do a little cleaning out there as well. Um, we're still working on putting some of the stuff away that was in the other shed, so we're just kind of transferring things um, as much as we possibly can. Also, in just a moment, you are gonna get to see the new like back porch laundry situation. Just please keep in mind this is just a temporary solution um, until our building is done, and then obviously it will be moved right back into the new building. Anyway, I am going to start some laundry, but before I do that, I want to share with you guys the little family announcement. All right, so I have a little announcement. We added to the family. <laughs> His name is Tito. We just got him two days ago. He is a ham. Tell me he got this weightish. His name is Tito, like I said. Um, they did. We didn't name him. They actually already named him. He is a full-blooded American bulldog. And he is just, oh, you guys, he's adorable. And he loves the dogs, and he's adjusting well. Okay, so just a little backstory on Tito. Can I hold you, please? Can I just hold you? Oh my gosh, he's just a ham. <laughs> we were not actively hunting for a dog. Um, it was one of those things where he just kind of, it came to us. I was on Facebook, and my cousin's wife reshared a post of the puppies and I was like oh my gosh it's like everything I want and so I sent a picture to my husband he was like you should see if there's any available and like honestly I didn't think it was gonna be one of those things where we would get one um so I was like you know what what's it gonna hurt so I messaged her and we get to talk in and she is super um, I mean amazing great with animals her dogs are well well taken care of I I don't know just something felt right you know and we did say like back in November, December-ish, we were actually looking for a puppy because Zoe has gotten, I mean, she's extremely hyper. She's a very, very hyper type of dog. It needs a lot of attention, a lot of playing, and we can't keep up with her. And Honey and Little, the two older dogs we have, Little is gonna be 14. Um, she's a Dotson and Doberman Pinscher mix, and she's not really social. She doesn't, she's honestly, <laughs> To be honest with you, she's never liked Zoe. She's Every time Zoe tries to play with her, she gets mad and she'll bite Zoe. So she doesn't like to come out of her room. Um, she doesn't even like to play with honey. Like she's just not a very social dog. Like, she likes people, but not like other animals. So she just likes to be alone in her room. And she'll, like I said, she'll come out to eat, drink, pee, say hi, bye. And then she runs back to her space. Um, honey is our Black Lab Pit Mix. She's the one that y'all always see in the kennel laying down, and I get a lot of comments on that, like why she's always in the kennel. That's just because that's where she wants to be. Like, she goes in and out, the gate's never locked. Um, unless we're gone, of course, she does have to be in the kennel because she gets into the garbage, like, so quick. I mean, as soon as you walk out the door, she's tearing into something. And for her own safety, she's gotta be in the kennel. But um, she has also gotten older. She'll be 11 in October, around October-ish, and, um, She's also got a lot of tumors on her, and it's really sad. Um, thankfully, none of them are cancerous, because last time I took her to the vet, they said that none of them looked cancerous, and just to l let them be, because the moment you try to mess with tumors, they do spread even worse, and I know firsthand, because my childhood dog, I ended up having to have put down because of tumors. Yeah, so Honey's at the age now where she's not really wanting to play with Zoe anymore. Like, she'll play with her, but she can't keep up. She ends up getting hurt. Um, Zoe's a little too rough with her. So we were like, you know what, maybe it's time. And then little Tito boy came about and he's literally the best thing ever. He's funny, he's exactly what I wanted. I So when um, the owner and I were talking, I told her like, you know, I have a really playful dog. I definitely want a playful family dog. I also wanted a big breed, something that I know is gonna grow and like protect us. Good guard slash family dog. And that's what we got. He's gonna be our protector. So we definitely are in love with him and super thankful we got him. The kids were so excited. I wish I could show you guys the video clips of them getting 
him because we did surprise them on it happened to be april fools too we surprised them um they stayed with our friends and we got back we were like come over here and, and look we got you something my daughter cried my son was like so he thought it was a joke he was like this is a prank i just know it and i'm like why would we prank you that would not be very nice especially with a dog like, i would never do that but um and then like later on that night he's like why did you get us a puppy? Why, what made you want to get us a puppy? And I'm like, I just felt like it was time. Zoe needed a friend to play with. Y'all are also at the age where like, they're learning the responsibility of taking care of an animal. They are obsessed with him. They're so helpful. And he's doing really great at night. He's actually sleeping through the night already, which I say that. He did wake up last night, but it's quick. He'll whine, he has to go out, and then you put him back in his kennel and he's good and he'll sleep through the night. Um, <laughs> but he's been so sweet. Obviously, I mean, look, he just lets you do whatever. I just trimmed his nails this morning. I don't... Did you have a bad dream? Are you okay? I thought you. Anyway, this was the little announcement. I was gonna go about it different. I was gonna like include like us actually going and and stuff, but there's just like too much information in the videos. You know what I'm saying? So I just I didn't want to to overshare. But oh my gosh, he's just. Mm, I cannot. He's crazy. <laughs> Tito. <laughs> Tito. He is a character. Zoe, come get your baby. Come get your baby. <laughs> he lost. <laughs> Zoe, get your ball. Zoe, get your ball. I mean, walk at him. <laughs> He's a big baby. <laughs> Is he your best friend? Now moving out to my makeshift laundry room for the time being, I am switching over some laundry really quick and then in just a couple minutes I'm going to share with you some footage from me setting up for a yard sale that I tried to have at the worst time. I was honestly just trying to get rid of a lot of stuff but then it would just ended up being a complete fail and I will talk all about that in just a moment. Talking, and I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately, all it ever does is change. Feels like we're only talking, talking, going round and around, back around. I will fight like no other every day. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the yard sale. Um, so I said it was a fail, but it really wasn't a fail only because I was able to give a lot to our neighbor and a lot to one of my sister-in-laws, um, which definitely made me happy being able to give them a lot of the stuff. But as far as the actual sale itself, y'all don't even wanna know how much money I made. I'm gonna let y'all guess, <laughs> just for the fun of it. Let me know in the comments how much money you think I made. The first person who guesses correctly, I will send you a $25 gift card through Amazon. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think I made at my yard sale? I will admit I was really bummed that my sale did not go great. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with the timing, but also my location as well. I've had a yard sale at my house before and it did not do great. 
at all. So this was my lesson learned. I will never have a yard sale again. I will. I get more joy at giving the things away than, and let me, and I'll explain like kind of what happened. But I ended up giving a lot of it away. So I will say that I ended up. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of funny. So first off, my neighbor, I had her come over and pick anything she wanted. I was like, whatever you want, please take it because I'm about to have a yard sale and I'd rather give it to you than sell it. So she took a lot before I even had the sale. And then I also called my sister in law. And we did a video chat and she also picked a lot of things. So I gave her a whole box of things as well. Well, then I woke up early that morning, set my signs up, had the sale. And by noon, I was like, okay, this is not going great. I'm going to go ahead and close the sale down. <laughs> so then I go and pull my signs down. Well, tell me why after I pull my yard sale signs down, all of a sudden all these people want to start showing up. So at that point, I'm just like, I'm done with the sale. Please take whatever you want. So I had this one woman. I'm like, if there's anything you want, please take it. Well, it turned out she actually lived in an RV. So she couldn't take a whole lot because she didn't have a whole lot of room. But she did take a couple things. So I was thankful for that. And then, y'all, my grocery delivery guy pulls up. <laughs> I thought he was here for this sale. Okay, I didn't even, I totally forgot that I ordered groceries. And I'm like, oh, hey, it, everything's free. Come grab it. You know, like I, I start like hollering at him, telling him to come grab whatever he wants for free. This man probably thought I was some like psycho person. He's probably like, let me get out of here as quickly as possible. Y'all, he grabs the groceries out of the trunk of the car. And I'm like, is that your wife? <laughs> Because he had a woman in the front seat. And at first he said no. I don't even think he knew what I was talking about. And then once he realized that I was giving the stuff away at the yard sale and I wasn't just trying to get him to come buy stuff, that's whenever him and his wife got out and they came and actually checked it out. And they were they grabbed a couple things, which was cool. Um, and I got rid of a lot of it just from like getting people to come grab stuff. But then I ended up having to put a lot of it by the road, hoping that someone would stop and grab things. Um, and nobody took anything, you guys. Like, what in the world? And I couldn't leave it outside by the, by the road because we have a, a dump trailer right now in our yard that my brother just delivered. So I had to clean all that stuff up. So then I had to throw it all in the back of my truck to donate it. So... Yeah, it, I, didn't, I really, really did not want to take it to a donation center. The only reason why was because recently I've noticed that the um, any type of thrift store has been overpriced, and I would rather give these things away for free than to donate it for them to turn around and sell it for like a crazy amount of money when people are actually in need. And I do realize that some thrift stores, they are like nonprofits and they do help, but not, that's not always the case. And this has been a busy weekend and I don't really, I didn't have a whole lot of time to hunt for people who are willing to come pick up the stuff for free. Shoot y'all. I even posted it on Facebook marketplace. Like y'all come get this stuff. Um, and nobody showed up. So I just deleted all the posts, I loaded everything up in the truck, and I plan on just dropping it off at donation. So as you can see, it's been a very chaotic week, <laughs> um, but in the best way possible. Honestly, all the chaos, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm like over the moon with everything going on right now. Not only the addition in our backyard, but the addition to our family, literally, like everything has just been so exciting and um, I thrive in this kind of like situation where there's just a lot going on. It's just usually when I'm at my happiest and I just feel like super fulfilled right now and just grateful for everything. Um, and thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Oh, this weekend though, I was gonna tell you, the yard sale, I ended up doing the yard sale on Saturday, which is probably why it didn't do great because it was the day before Easter. And not only with the kids out of school early on Friday, had the yard sale and then we had Easter and then Monday, um, it was first day back to school, so the kids were kind of like, you know, oh, it was a crazy Monday, and then we ended up getting Tito. So that's been an adjustment, <laughs> but an exciting one because we love, we love puppies so much. Um, shoot, I love babies. If I could have kids, I'd have kids, but I can't, so I'm just gonna keep getting puppies, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, don't forget to subscribe. In just a couple days, I will have part two of the addition build out. You don't want to miss that one. It's a good video. Um, and yeah, thanks again for being here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.